Angle Cave, fishing freaks. We are going fishing today. Uh, it is overcast and windy right before a cold front today. And I thought, it has been a little while since I've gone out to my particular nemesis lake that's close by and just absolutely caught nothing. And I, it's high time, it's high time to do it. I do it once a quarter. For those of you that live around here, this is the lake I call the Dead Sea most times, but many of you know it as Lake Ray Roberts and there are, are in fact giant bass in it. Uh, produces huge sacks during tournament season. Uh, I just don't know, where, nope, I don't know where they live. Uh, the only couple times that I've gone out there and done well uh, has been with a buddy of mine. And I'm going with him today, so maybe he's the good luck charm, I don't know. I did manage to slay some crappie last year there, and it kind of opened my eyes to how good the crappie fishing is. Uh, so I do need to dial that in. I'm going to be doing that this year, but I've got that itch on bass right now. It's like <sighs> the hearts are beating on both sides right now. My crappie heart, my bass heart. And guys, we have so many new baits. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about uh, this February launch. I'm talking everything from two and a half inch tubes to our happy trailers. God, I gotta have it on your vibe jig, absolute must. Uh, love grubs. Uh, I mean, the slizzards are already here. The double Colorado blade thumper blades are coming out. Uh, oh, uh, the iterations of reels. Those are coming at some point, not right now, but I've got new samples of those I'm fishing with today. Just a lot going on. Oh, and the crappie jigs are now. The crappie jigs are flowing in. The crappie jigs are flowing in. GoogleSquad.com use code LFG. Save 10% off on all this stuff. But today we're rolling out in the silver bullet. I think it's going to be its last ride. Here she is, my silver bullet, my darling. Come here, sugar. Oh, oh, you've been such a good one. I am, uh, I am very fortunate, guys. Fun and Son, they're a boat dealer here in the DFW area, and they hook me up with uh, the use of a boat every year. So I basically get to try new boats with new electronics and, you know, new motor series every year, and I love that. You know, it, it gives me some insight into everything that's that's new coming out in boats and upgrades and you know maybe things that I like better on other boats that I want to take that it's it's great I love that so this boat is actually going to be uh, for sale available at Fun and Sun I will have to say this has been my favorite silver bullet for a couple of reasons mainly that motor right there that Merc she's a hoss sometimes you get a, a, a motor from the factory that's a little hotter just run it's got a little more pop on it and from my experience with the mercuries i've been running this one just has a little more juice on it i don't know i don't know it could be the motor it could be the balance of everything in the boat this this boat just has a little a little bit more giddy up and i love the one graph system up front the one graph i don't like the two the double graphs it gets kind of confusing you know some guys like that but i like the one big jumbo right there at the console and for me, doing bass and crappie, you know, having having the Ultrax, of course, this has been the favorite trolling motor that I've run so far. Uh, I've I've run a lot of these, um, but having the extra turret, then having the 360, um, it's an um, unbeatable combo for offshore fishing, and then wanting to crappie, you spot lock, then you get your turret game on. So sadly, I think today is going to be her last ride. There's also this thing with, with new boats where it's like before you've got on some fish and, and caught them, it, 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 it's, there's like a, it almost feels like a curse you need to break on it. You're like, I'm not, I'm not catching any fish in this boat. What's wrong with this boat, man? Don't have the right juice on it. It's just you, mentally, really, but uh, this boat has the juice, you know what I mean? Like I think the first time I went out in it, first couple of times I went out I caught them then I caught like a nine pounder like fresh like two or three weeks old I was like oh my gosh I knew it was gonna be a good one from there but there ain't no amount of luck that can save you from the possible goose egg on old Ray Bob that's where we're heading today so we probably won't catch any fish today y'all but we're gonna have a good time I love you either way He's a nippy. Fired up. Oh, yeah. 
Is this recording? This, this is recording. Yeah. First fish of the day. Hooked up. Trays in the way. Uh, got on a grass line. Now, it's been about an hour. We've been an hour out here without a bite, but then just picked up the old lipless, the clutch. I'm fighting this fish really slow because it's barely hooked. Got it on braid with the reaction rod. I was just ripping it through some, uh, some coontail milfoil type stuff. And this is this is like typical of what you see. This is a good fish. Wintertime, wintertime fatty. Ah, that's a toad, baby. That's a toad right there. Fattened up. And I put some braid on this rod for ripping it through this sticky grass. Can't believe I caught one. I can't believe it. This, this lake is just, it's the nemesis lake for me, but heck, that's a good one. The thing about wintertime fishing is you do have the chance of catching big ones like that. Look at that, that's a new color for this spring. Trey, we've got a, uh, we've got like a clear red that's uh, that's money, or cash, cash craw. Cash craw. Yeah, Sriracha. Sriracha's got a little more yellow in it, chartreuse, but this is like straight red. Flaming hot. Flaming hot is, is, uh, is the name, name of that. So those are gonna be available for, uh, for springtime fishing for you guys this year. Red's become real popular in the late winter, early spring. That's a really good fish right there. I'll take that all day. Oh, yeah. And we've also got some duck hunters out here on the bank. I said they lost a duck and they're, uh, they're requesting that we go out here and try to retrieve it for them. So, hey, casting and blasting, baby. Literally caught this bass right in front of some decoys. All right, we're gonna let this one go. I'm gonna say that's, that's pretty much four pounder. Look how thick its tail is. Super thick, healthy bass. We'll let that one go. See, baby, that one fought really, really hard. Just ripping it through that grass and then dunk, hit it good. Sometimes I'll fish this braid on really grassy lakes, but go with like a 30 pound or a 40 pound. 30 pounds really good because it'll cut through the grass really well. If, you're, if you got a lot more sparse grass, you know, fluorocarbon's fine, like 15 pound fluorocarbon, but uh, reaction rod with that braid, it's a perfect little setup for ripping grass on these clutches. In the triangle cross section. Yeah, no problem, dude. He's uh, definitely. He's he's a he's a, a very well known amateur YouTube fisherman. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> you got yeah. A channel? Yeah, Lake Fork guy is my channel. Are you kidding me? No. You have got to be kidding me. No. No. Who else is in that boat? This is my buddy Trey. This is our Trey. camera guy Jerry for Guggen Squad. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we were on a duck. We're duck hunting right now. Duck retrieval mission. Duck retrieval mission amongst the trees. There's this weird time of year where duck hunters and danglers unite. And uh, that guy does both. Mallard getting up, going into the wind. This kid, oh yeah. He looks a little struggling. Yeah, I am. Yeah, for my channel. Yeah, I was hoping we could get your duck, man, for the video. <laughs> I would make you some content, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that laying on top of the grass right there. Six, five foot. Perfect little munchers. Oh, do you see that on the scope? Mm -mm. 
I freaking bumped him in the head. <laughs> like right here? Yeah, he was following it and I gave it one twitch and I bumped him in the head. I felt it. He was following it. I thought he was like coming up to eat it. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're breaking out the double barrel shotgun here. Getting dangerous. Oh, big boy moves. Eight foot grass line. I've had a couple of followers knock one in the head here. Let's see if I can get one to get nasty with me. Give me a big bump. Look at that giant stump up there. That was a damage. You can tell names for that little crappie tube and the little crappie grub. Oh, the crappie grub. Is it a no, single tail? Waiting on samples on it. It's a little double tail. It's basically the. Oh, sh oh, Terry's on. How how far up there were you? You need the net, big it. That's a good. That's another good one. Oh, Dude, that that other one dogged me. Oh shoot, Terry, that's a good one. <laughs> Hang on, son. Oh shoot. Hang on, buddy. We might need a net. Yeah. Yeah. or what give me a hey. give me a second longer i'm trying to figure it out jerry i'm trying to figure it out there we go Let's yes go. Woo. dude that's a five damn that fish is thick <laughs> dude both of those fish are freaking Let's go. That, that's a hammer i have to oh. scale that one up there yeah. dude the saucy just getting her Woo. done dude that is a fat fish right there. wow hell Let's yeah go. Let's freaking go, Jerry. By the way, folks, Jerry is normally behind the camera, but today he's ripping lips. Dude, that is a healthy fish. Let's get a photo. Holy moly. Where's your phone? It is not that long, but damn, it is. I know. It's the fattest fish I've seen all year. All right. Scale it up for sure over five. I don't want to be overconfident, but I'm seeing some fives in my day. And oh, it just went six for a second. Yeah, five pounds, twelve five ounces, pounds, five and three quarters, ounces. bro. Let's go. That's a freaking toad. New new PB out on this lake. Nice. There we go. God, dude, that is a beautiful fish. That is awesome. Gorgeous fish, my guy. Very good. Cool. Yeah. We'll let her we... uh, let her go. Make some more babies this year. Yeah, baby let's freaking let's go. go well you uh you made the call you're like hey do you have any underspins in the boat yeah almost gave up on looking for the underspins but uh trey pulled one out for me and Boink. came in clutch came in clutch the last the last dangle of the silver bullet well y'all off the water and i would have to say things went about as expected today Maybe even better than expected, catching two fish over the expected zero. Pretty amazing. I was actually standing exactly right here when, uh, when I gave the zero prediction. Turn off all the graphs, shutting everything down. <sighs> gonna clean her up and get her ready. Um, I'm going to leave some of my poles in here and some of the baits in here. So whichever, whoever ends up getting this boat will get some of the uh, brand new baits that are just now launching and a couple of my sticks from this past season. I was a little surprised that the jerk bait didn't perform more. Uh, I thought just working that around some trees would be good. Nothing on the spinner bait, surprisingly. I mean, even a chatter bait didn't get it done. Um, the, swimmy, the swimmy and the old lipless, I think just reacting. Um, was it and I think it was a little slow a little overcast for a jig today it was basically just those reactionary baits and just using our, our new test samples on these reels 
Uh, that's actually an, an older one right there. You can, you can see the difference in the uh, in the side plates. The side plate difference on the, the greens right here. See the low profile of that one versus that one. Um, but these cast amazingly. I mean, this one is uh, this one doesn't even have the the dual braking system. The green series doesn't have the dual braking system, and I was flinging that half ounce trap with that 40 pound braid. Whereas the gold has the magnetic and centrifugal braking, you can just get a lot more dialed. Um, this one just handles handles better on, on the casting, in my opinion. But pretty easy out of the box. Uh, didn't even really mess with the casting controls and was just zipping it. It's time to clear out the old Sylvies. The old silver, silver bullets out, out of the silver bullet. Didn't hit any stumps today. Center out right on a good clean mission. Thank you guys for coming out with me on the last mission in this silver bullet. Many more to come in the new one for the new year. Things are heating up. Big fish time now through May. Big green ones, big crappie. I'm excited. So hope you guys are uh, on some open water where you can go fishing. If, if not, stay tuned. You can watch us go fishing right here on this channel. And we'll see you here back in the great outdoors on the next one.